what's up everyone so i saw this movie with jack and jimmy but i decided to do this kind of little review uh for solo right now since we did we just did avatar uh way of water oh my gosh this movie the puss and boo's last wish it was a lot better than i expected for well for one thing the animation really good i got that from the trailer for for sure and talking about animation so i like that this is somewhat Kind of similar to what the Spider Verse movies have been doing. They kind of make these animated movies look like they, it's a like a live comic book story. With the new Puss in Boots movie, they derive this new like three D animation process that a lot of studios have been doing into the storybook type of thing. Uh, it's kind of similar with uh, 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 what's that family movie on Netflix? Um. It's like the family movie versus robots. I forgot what it's called. Um, it'll pop up. But um, so it's kind of like this where it seems like it's a storybook type of texture coming to life in the movie. So that's it's a really cool um, way of um, animating this movie, which I really like. Oh, gosh. the This got like a lot of like, yeah, a, a lot of people said this reminded them of Shrek, more specifically Shrek 2 with like the dark humor. Uh, the song was actually, there was a song in this movie that was actually from Shrek 2. There's a lot of, like, very deep stuff, um, themes going on in this movie. And, of course, it's great to have, um, uh, Antonio Banderas. I'm sorry, I had to look some of these names up. So, Antonio Banderas, he has been posting boost before. It's great to have him back. Um, and Selma Hayek, I think that's how you say her name. And Florence Pugh was Goldilocks, which is pretty cool. Um... And John Laney as Jack Horner, um, he's not in the trailers, not that I remember, but he plays one of the main bad guys in this movie. Holy cow, he's one twisted dude, like, uh, well, the character, not John, <laughs> but oh my gosh. And there's also like a lot of Disney Easter eggs. <clears throat> Um, I wish I can list them all, but I, I really want you guys to see this in, in the theaters yourself. Um, but, oh my gosh. Um, and overall, yeah, it's pretty funny as well. I really enjoyed the, uh, just the overall humor and the adventure and action in this movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the kind of, uh, not really big noticeable plots, well, I don't know. So one of the main kind of plot settings that keeps this movie kind of still going uh well holds on to with puss and case off pause uh kind of still together um was a little bit something about their backstory what happened like years ago uh which they do mention quite a bit in this movie so something did happen moving forward with their lives but then uh then it gets complicated. You guys will, yeah, see it if you watch this movie. But this is also, like, pretty much the first um, project that Puss in Boots is in where he really focuses on him, or, like, trying to find himself more. And, coincidentally, this is his last life. Um, but he has to really know who he is as the outside of, like, this ego that he puts on. Um, that we all just know and love. But overall, yeah, this movie was definitely perfect for us to kind of explore who Puss is. Um, oh my gosh, the dog. He's a pretty interesting character. He's really pure-hearted, uh, somewhat wise and naive at the same time. Pretty funny. Oh gosh, and you guys, there's some bleeps in this movie what was it oh yeah it was super pets that had one bleep in the movie this movie had like maybe four that i can remember uh and this is a pg movie too oh this is um and after the movie jack jimmy and i were all wondering we all looked at each other like is this really a kid's movie <laughs> and i replied i think so I, this is more of a a kid's movie but mainly for adults excuse me pixar is the same way but this is a whole different kind of way for adults. Um, oh my gosh, yeah. But overall, I really like this movie. Uh, this is definitely... Uh, yeah, this is a 4 out of 5 for me. This is a definite 4 out of 5 movie. Okay, I do not know why I haven't mentioned this character in this review. But 
he is a scary, creepy, somewhat evil of a character in this movie. So he's basically a big bad wolf, but he does reveal his name at the end of the movie. Um, and he does appear quite often in this movie, but he has more screen time in the in the beginning and the end of the movie with the fights with Puss. Um, and whoever voices him, he does a great job making him so, like, sinister. Whew. And even though this came out, like, what, like, late December? But, yeah, Jack, Jimmy, and I, we only saw it, I think, just a week after, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But I, decided, I still got to film this movie review um, early January. Um, and there's still a lot of movies I still need to see, um, which is uh, Babylon, The Whale... And uh, Megan's gonna come out soon. Yeah, that's that's it for Puss in Boots Last Wish movie review. Um, if you guys liked it, give it a like. Comment what you guys actually comment what you guys think of this little setup. I I'm really digging it. Uh, this is not the setup like for the camera wise. It's probably gonna be a bit further back and probably higher ground. But I just quickly whipped this up and try to see how this looks. Um, and yeah, this tablet thing. Pretty cool. It's a cool addition to what movie I'm trying to really talk about. Um, it also helps with like looking up who's in this movie and stuff and whatever. Um, oh, I almost forgot. There, uh, at the end of the movie, there's a little tease to something that may happen in the future. So, and yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, subscribe while you're here and click on the bell so you guys won't miss any of my videos when they come out on my channel. And until next time, peace.